Okay, guys. Um, I bought this cute little mini um, waffle maker. And I made pancakes earlier, and I have this leftover pancake batter because I only make two pancakes for myself. So what we're going to do is take my leftover pancake batter, and this is the first time I've used this. I don't have spray, so I've taken a um, paper towel, soaked it with vegetable oil, and I've wiped down the inside of this. This has also been washed. And <laughs> nowhere does it say how much to actually put in here. It just says don't overfill it. So we're just going to put what appears to be right in it. Um, that's probably too much. We're going to close this. And it says three to six minutes. So we're going to find out. The first time I've ever used this, I've also got some blueberries over there that are thawed. I'm doing this because it is nice to have the little ones ready to go whenever I want to pull out some, have a snack, um, just have a quick little breakfast. They're in the freezer. Take them out. Let them thaw for a couple minutes. Pop them in the toaster. By the way, my little toaster that matches this. The only issue I have with it, it is so light that it bounces when the toast comes up. Okay, so we have steamage. Is that supposed to do that? I guess so. Um, it is so light that when the toast pops up, it bounces. So I'm going to put some um, like little felt underneath the edge of it to give it something. And that looks like it's actually done. Let me get something to pull that up with. I'm going to give it another minute. That's only been, what, a minute? It's saying three to five, but I don't think it needs three to five. I have my plate here to put it on. We're going to test this puppy here in a second. So it's only been about not even a minute and a half. That feels done. We're going to go ahead Put a second one on. So it holds about a quarter to a half cup. Yeah, this is a half cup and about a quarter of a cup. All right, let's see if it's cooked all the way through. Look at this, guys. It is cooked all the way through at a minute. Nice and fluffy. Might have wanted to leave it just a little longer if I could have without it burning. But that is good. I'm going to snack on that one. Going to go ahead and cook up some more. I'll probably do like a couple plain and I'm going to try um, some with some blueberries on them. And see what happens. This is really cool, guys. I love this. I'm still nibbling. It is really good, guys. Look at this. And this is actually a really big waffle. I'll let it cook another 30 seconds. This is by Kitchen Selectives. Um, I love the color. A little bit longer.
Look at how golden brown that one is. Look at that. Nice. This one I'm going to try putting just a few berries in it. So let's go. See what happens. Oh, listen to that sizzle. Grab my napkin like that. Ooh, that was too much. I'm oozing. But that's okay. I have a towel. Look at how nice and golden that is. And that's not a mini, um, to me that's not mini, that's a good size. Let's see how those blueberries are doing. Oh look, they mashed down in really good. Okay, we're going to close that and let it cook. Blueberries. Ooh, hot. I am going to give it some extra oil in here. Especially where the blueberries was. Get up in there where the blueberries made a mess. Give that some little extra oil. Not as much of this. think it's going to work good, guys. What do you think? I'll bring you back when I'm finished with this. Okay, guys. My battery died on my phone, so I had to run in and let it charge. So you're going to hear a bunch of beeping because there's notifications coming in. So, there it is. I finished off all the batter, and I got to tell you guys, look at these blueberry ones. I think it would be better if the blueberries hadn't been so large. I know it looks like you're in the dark, but you're not. All the lights are on. It's just the way things are. These, I've already ate one. They're good. This is my dinner. Um, I'll put them on top of there. The only thing I should have done was put some spices in here like cinnamon. And make it taste more like a blueberry muffin. But it is so good, guys. But the biggest disappointment I have is cleaning this little thing. It took me about 12 or 13 minutes to clean this. Because these little grates in here do not come out. That was one issue I had with it. It took so long to clean it. Number two, this got, it's still warm. And it's been 20 minutes since I took this food off. So everything sitting here is kind of cool. But this is still warm. And it's unplugged. It's been unplugged. I had to unplug, let it cool enough to clean it and get it all cleaned up. And it took me a long time to clean it. And these grates don't come out. So, Kitchen Selectives, I am hashtagging them, and I hope they see this. This should have had removable grates. This gets extremely hot. And honestly, unless you're making a large batch of these, um, the cleaning time on this, for just a couple 
is not worth it. Um, it takes too long to clean this little guy. Cleaning in all them little cracks and crevices to get everything cleaned out. So, um, I wish it had removable gr uh, grates so it could have been cleaned better. But, it is what it is. Um, I do like it. I like that I have a nice size waffle out of the deal. Um, it's actually perfect size, so there's that. And um, I like it. I just wish, you know, my poor thumb from grabbing this and trying to, uh, you know, it, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it. It is really red. It got very, very hot. You probably can't see that, but my poor thumb is so sore and tender. Even though I was lifting this up and letting it cool, just kind of holding this while I was getting the muffin off, my poor thumb is just so sore. Um, it gets very hot. So, um, I don't know. I, I like it. Unless I'm doing a large batch, it doesn't pay to use this little guy, so... Not with the cleaning time it takes to clean it up. Alright guys, so there he is. Um, so everybody, thanks for watching. Bye guys.